Shabbat Shalom, my friends. This is a super sacred time in the Jewish tradition. It's the days of awe. When in between Rosh Hashanah, the birthday of the world, and Yom Kippur, the day of atonement, or as my more mystically inclined friends call, the day of at one men. We are in this very spacious period when the gates are considered to be open. The days of awe, when we are able to take a look at our lives and do a kind of inventory of the past year and see the places where we may have missed the mark, where we treated each other with less than the reverence with which we would hope to be treated. When also it says that the Holy One is always available, but is more available to us than ever in our efforts to align ourselves, line ourselves back up with integrity, with beauty, with harmony in our relationships and in our relationship with the planet. So these days of awe are potent and filled with uh, a deep sense of sacredness, knowing that the breath of the Holy One is right on our faces. And there is an intimacy that gives us energy to return. The word for returning to right relationship with God and with ourselves and with our communities is tshuva. Tshuva means turning, like just literally reorienting so that you can return to that uh, space of closeness to the Holy One, to the Beloved. And it's also a time when we ask to be written back into the Book of Life for another year. There's a, there's a simple song that, that is often sung, in, at least in Jewish renewal communities, that embodies the spirit of this season. Return, return again, return to the land of your soul. Return again, return again, return to the land of your soul. Return to who you are, return to what you are, return to where you are, born and reborn again, return again, return again, return to the land of your soul. So in this period of awe, these 10 days of awe, we're right in the middle. May you find a way to let go of all that is past and come back to zero. Return to the land of your soul and use this special access that the Holy One grants us in this sacred time to restore right relationships in your romantic relationships, in your families, in your communities, knowing that you're given the extra grace to return. Much love, Shabbat Shalom, Shana Tovah.